Good morning. We're at the Grace Church in St. Francisville, Louisiana. And in this church in 1858, our three times great grandparents, John Georges Spohr and Eleanor Bettinger were married. And we'll talk about the church first and then I'll talk about our three times great grandparents. So the church was originally established as a cemetery about 1827 as a place to bury uh, the folks who died down at Bayou Sara to avoid the flooding and the bodies pretty much rolling into the Mississippi River. And the church was built in 1827. It was a log church that was later rebuilt in 1852, 1853, and then finally finished in 1860. Up here, the steeple is the highest point of this church and also of this whole town. And during the Civil War in 1863, the Union gunboats were sitting down in the Mississippi and they could see the top of the steeple here. And this is where they unloaded their cannons and their guns to bomb the town of St. Francisville. So let's talk about John George's Spore. We call him JG and his wife, Eleanor. So John George's, he showed up here in 1852 with his future brother-in-law, Antoine Lana. And they opened a grocery business down at Bayou Sara. And in 1853, Eleanor arrived with her sister and with her brother. And they, uh, they moved here down a place called Fancy Point. And Eleanor, she went on to New Orleans to act as a governess and a uh, school, school teacher. And then she later moved up here and they were married, John Georges and Eleanor, April 7, 1858, in this church. So that's the story of our spores and our Bettingers. And the cemetery grounds are here. And some of these are quite old, dating back to the 1840s, and even used up to today. So I hope you enjoyed my story of what's called today the Grace Episcopal Church of St. Francisville. Thank you. This is the cemetery of the Grace Church. And there's a lot of headstones here dating back to around 1830, a lot through the 1800s, and it continues up uh, until today. Now, we don't have any relatives in this church cemetery, but you can see it's rather vast. Many of the headstones are quite old and impressive. The Brasso, Albert Sidney. 1856, born. 1938, he died. Here we have the Reed Memorial, and they're perhaps one of the earliest settlers up here. This is Charles Reed, born 1844, died 1898, but they've lived up here for quite some time. His fellow uh, Margaret, she died in 2002, and the Reeds go all the way down to here. And here we have Dr. John P. Leak, MD, born 1871, died 1952, and his wife, 